that a lot of you need to take this aloe okay this is an aloe plant from the aloe plant I actually just scraped it and put it into a mason jar and you can take a teaspoon a day to clean your blood as a blood purifier okay I always say that in my um, my messages all right pies pies all right so some of us need to start drinking some uh, aloe vera to clean the body okay Let's see what's going on for Pisces. I see a lot of you guys missed me. Also, I am doing readings every day. So you don't need to contact me like, where's my reading? All right. So let's find out what's going on. General message for Pisces. I'm going to try my best to go live to do a Q&A. So if you did purchase a reading, you'll be able to find me on a live chat today. Hit the notification bell below. Okay. And uh, yeah, if you guys are going to other tarot readers who's using crayons and shit like that, crayons. I did say crayons. And drawings. Listen, <laughs> if you want a real reading, come to my channel. All right. All right. So let's see. Pisces, Summer Rising of Venus. Who's coming towards Pisces? Who's coming towards Pisces? Sometimes I cannot. <laughs> With these other people, all right? Who's coming towards Pisces? Um, regarding love, like I said, I just saw a two for two. So, a lot of people need to get outdoors, all right, as well. And if you want to expedite your reading, you have an option of having a choice to have your reading done outside because I need to be outside, I need to, you know, enjoy the weather as well. I can't be like stuck inside the house every day, all day, you know. I was only gone for three days and you guys are like where's crystal so anyway so we do have i do like them i do like the love okay i'm glad you guys are acknowledging my presence okay that i'm missing <laughs> but i'm here so we have an ace of wands okay i love it it's a aries Leo sagittarius it doesn't have to be aries Leo sag this is why you have to book a private reading this is a passionate offer okay someone wants to offer you this passion someone is passionate about you pisces or most of the Pisces out there if you haven't received that love as of yet okay I know some people have messaged me and told me yes my partner contacted me this that and the third so I'm very ha happy for you guys as well so it's passion here it's love this woman is pregnant okay she's pregnant he's holding her stomach and he only have eyes for her okay this is love someone wants to offer you love Pisces Pisces Aerosil Sagittarius Ace of Wands all right what else is going on for Pisces and just bear with me with the with the noise with the lens here okay yeah <laughs> four swords okay someone is trying to tame you someone is definitely let me lay the cards out and then I will show you guys all right Pisces who's coming to us Pisces sexual energy God okay we have the knight of wands very pat a lot of passion here but I'm going to show you in a second, all right? Magician, Gemini, and a Virgo. Spirit, Pisces, Sun, ooh, okay, wait a minute, Chad. We have the Nine of Chalices, all right? Two of Wands, whoa, I love it, oh my gosh. The uh, Knight of Pentacles and the Three and the Eight of Swords, all right? So we didn't ask Spirit a question, just ran out. So we do have the Hierophant, it's a Taurus, all right? Um, a Taurus energy here. And yes, I put the cards down. If I don't feel it and it's not meant for me without me asking spirit a question, I'm going to show you what the card is and put it right back. So I have to ask spirit a question. That's how I do my readings. Who's coming towards Pisces? Oh my God, I love it. Okay. We have the Eight of Swords and the Sun. Okay. This is you, Pisces, thinking about a love. You want to have the Sun. It can also be a crazy but Gemini or Leo. Very heavy Leo with the sun here. Someone wants to bring you to the sun. All right. I love it. Eight of Swords is also someone being trapped in their mind. All right. So who's what is what is our partner thinking? Got sexual energy for our partner. Who's coming to us, Pisces? All right. Yeah. Four of Pentacles, stability. I will show you in a minute. All right. Knight of Wands. Who's coming to us, Pisces, in love? The full Aries. Take a leap of faith. Queen of Chalices. <laughs> I love it. Pisces, Kids of Scorpio. Who's coming to us, Pisces? 
eight of wands love it all eights eight 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 ten of pentacles oh my god and the high priestess are on the bottom this is crazy i can't believe it i can't i can't i can't i can't even make this up i can't make it up okay listen let me get y'all closer because i know y'all are not think i'm lying before we clarify the rest we have all the cards down for your your energy your partner's energy um, this is the final uh, messages here. I have to turn them around because I don't read these reversed. All right. We have the high priestess. Oh, my God. Okay. So, all right. Let's put this here for a sec sec. All right. So, in your in your partner's energy. All right. We just showed you. This is your energy. All right. Aries or Sagittarius. Someone wants to put that tang tang on you, Pisces. Someone wants to embrace you and, and control you the passion here someone wants to love only you all right this is the four swords this is someone who took time to really think about this relationship and now wants to offer you this passion just you someone wants to take you on this white horse okay pisces and they want to bring passion towards you okay it might be platonically sexual okay and uh eventually they're going to want a commitment because the hierophant is about commitment it's about marriage all right or tours you also have this leo Okay, bringing the sun towards you. I'm not going to tell you what signs we're dealing with. It's just a story. Okay, so you have a passion coming towards you. Someone just wanted to take you on this horse and ride out to the sunset. All right? All right? And someone wants to be committed. All right? So those are the energies. And someone is also, this could be you, Pisces, stuck in your head about this passion, this love. Also had this demonic energy behind someone is like looking. All right? Or you might have someone trying to break up or agitate or cause friction in a relationship. And cause your partner not to come towards you. But this could be your energy. Thinking about your ex. If it's an ex-partner or current partner whatever. But you are definitely in your head thinking about this passion. You're very, you're feeling yourself now. You're feeling very sexual. Oh, You see how spirit just threw it in my chest? <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to have to go slow. And I'm going to slow mode that one. I have that four of uh, another four, so four, four, one, and a, uh, ten. No, five. This is a five, and we have eleven here. So twenty-two, twenty-one. All right. So remember those numbers. But anyway, we have four here, uh, and a knight of wands. So someone wants to basically hold on to you, Pisces. They're not trying to share you. The four pentacles not sharing. Someone wants to take a leap of faith. This is your partner. All right, and the Queen of Chalices, Pisces, Kansas, Scorpio. All right, these are the people that we're dealing with so far, the Arcanas. All right, let me show the cards first so it won't make this noise. So you do have the High Priestess here. Is this High Priestess? Hey, you want someone that's passionate about you. Pisces, Kansas, Scorpio. Message is coming in. They might be already texting you with the Eight of Wands. A Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And you have the Ten of Pentacles. Someone wants to have a happy family. Happy family and the hair of This is happiness. Okay. I'm just good. Listen, I'm good at it. Fuck it. I'm done. I'm done. Someone has love coming in or ready have love or coming towards you. Maybe in 21 days with this 21 card here. Okay. Some In the 21 days, someone wants to offer you this sun. Someone wants to offer you this ace of cups. Okay. This is also the sun card. Okay. Stay with me here. <laughs> Okay, the sun and love. That's it, Pisces. The high priestess is here. Someone wants to offer the high priestess love. Okay, this is easy to, 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 to understand. But someone has secrets as well. What number is this? We have 10, 5, 15, 18. 18, number 18 here. Okay, so you have 18, 21. Remember these numbers. I'm telling you. 18, 21, 2, 4, and 8. And a 10, 5 also. You have... um. You have the hangman here, okay? This is the hangman, Pisces energy, all right? So, so far, you have two Pisces, Cancer. Pisces, Cancer, love coming in, all right? Your legs is up, Pisces. Your legs is up, all right? <laughs> but someone has secrets, so, but you're, you're intuitive with the high priestess. You're going to find out if someone is lying to you, you're going to find out what the secret is, all right? You have the eight of pentacles. It was the eight of cups, eight of chalices, honey. This is about emotion. Someone wants to emotionally connect with you. You also have the chariot cancer again so some people might be going with the cancer or another pisces okay also with this moon and pisces together this is definitely a cancer or pisces here who wants to offer you this love all right this cup of love and you have the high priestess this is easy pisces cancer scorpio period or pisces just cancer all pisces cancer cards 
Pisces Cancer cards, okay? So I'm making myself very clearly. If you don't understand me, too bad. So you have the Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles here. This is about a happy family and someone's moving slow. This time they're taking their time. They want to think about this relationship, uh, Pisces, Pisces. All right, this is a stable relationship. I don't even need to do the reading anymore. This is so beautiful. I'm just done, right? Someone is sorry. Like, they had a bad past, okay? They fucked up, right? You have the sun card here, okay? So if you're not dealing with someone from your past, this is new love coming towards you, but you need to get your ass out and travel. Also, you have, um, yeah, like this four swords again, okay? Four, four, four swords holding on tight. Someone laying, took time to think about what they needed. Right? And someone is holding on tight to this love. They don't want to let go. You see how he's devouring her? Right? And all love. Ace of Wands, again. Take you on this horse. Just you and them. I don't even see a third party. Fuck it. You also have a major arcana Aries. Okay? It could be an Aries, Pisces, Kids, a Scorpio, a Taurus. And a Leo. Alright? That's what I see. And that's your love. So I love it. Okay? So let's do a general message now that we got the love out there. Okay, Pisces, Pisces. Okay, Pisces, guys. Who's coming towards Pisces? Okay, the High Priestess and the uh, Page. Okay, so you have a pay apology coming in, Pisces. All right, and the Three of Cups. Oh, no, the Page of Cups. What am I saying? Okay, so someone spirit is saying, listen to your intuition. Okay, and you have the Page of Cups apology coming in. Someone wants to apologize here. Alright, who's coming to us, Pisces, God? Seven of Wands, you're feeling defensive here, okay? Seven of Wands, standing up for what's right here. Nine of Cups, I love it. Nine of Cups and the Seven of Cups, okay? This is absolutely beautiful. Pisces. Okay, so you have the page of... The Three of Pentacles reverse, which is great. Okay, so the Three of Pentacles also... You're not in a third party. You're not, you're not standing for that shit if someone did put you in a third party. You're not standing for that. Yeah, Queen of Wands. If someone was dealing with the Ariel Sash, they, they broke up with that person. All right? Let's see. Yeah. Lovers, unacquainted love. So some of us might be dealing with karmic energy here. Let's see. Wheel of Karma in your favor, Pisces. Spice. Who's coming to us, Pisces? Ooh, Ten of Cups. Okay? Love coming in towards you, Cal. I love it. Fast energy. Move. Someone might be coming easy, coming out. All right. Might be dealing with the um, what is it? Uh, a Leo. Easy in, easy out energy. Leo came in during the pre-shuffle, so or Aries. Let's see. Coming in for a short time, not a long time. Who's coming to us, Pisces? God. <laughs> Queen of Wands. Okay. Some of us probably uh, broke up with the Aries or Sag recently. Tell them to kick rocks, whatever. Let's see. Pisces, God. Who's coming to us, Pisces? High Priestess. Yeah, so you might be mad at an Aries or Sag or another Pisces. You ain't standing for that shit, right? You realize some someone true colors. You have the High Priestess twice. Okay, High Priestess two times. We're going to turn the High Priestess up. We're not going to read her reverse child. Okay, but someone is not listening. Your partner is not listening to their intuition. Okay, they perhaps left you for another person and feel regretful. Because they didn't listen to your intuition. Or you could be mad with the high pieces reverse. You've turned your back on this motherfucker. Mother lover, actually. <laughs> Turn your back like <laughs> the Queen of Swords, Aries, um, Leo, crazy but Gemini wanna come in for apology. Okay, someone wants to apologize. Alright, who's coming towards Pisces, Pisces God? Regarding love, the will of karma. So whoever you was dealing with, maybe a Sag Aries, alright, Leo Leo Sag Aries. They're going to get bad karma, okay? It's time for Judgment Day, honey. Because something was secretive, right? With the High Priestess reverse, and they're going to be found out, all right? And we kept getting nine, 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 eight. So I'm thinking a nine day some, or nine week, someone is going to be, someone's shit going to come clean. Yeah, look, we're getting justice, Queen of Cups. 
All right, this is also a legal issue. So if you guys have some court issues, you're going to get justice. You're going to win that court case. You might be also dealing with the Libra, all right, or left a karmic partner, someone who's dragging the fuck down. All right, one more, yeah, dragging you down, okay? <laughs> the nine of wands, feeling defensive. You got your guard up, okay? You like, nah, wait a minute, hold up, okay? You got your guard up. Whoa, you seen that? It just flew right into my chest here. All right, so you want equal balance here with this um, six of uh, pentacles, and, and you will get your equal balance, give and take. It will be equal give and take here. Judgment. Judgment day is here. Okay, someone's going to need fucking judgment. Final message, yeah. Five of uh, five of swords. Someone's lying and stealing. They're going to be found out, right? Final message. Yeah, someone is like, look, this is bent. The passion ran out, okay? The passion ran out. You ran out of passion for somebody. All right, final message for Pisces. Yeah, same card. <laughs> okay, bent up, all right? Someone is really, listen, let's see, cut off communication. You perhaps walked away from a, a Libra, Pisces, Pisces, all right? Because you had too many options or a Libra had you in too many options or ghosted you. Okay, some of us are still dealing with someone who ghosted, just walked away with no communication. What's the final message for Pisces? What's the advice? What's the advice for Pisces? Uh, oh, Queen of um, Queen of Pentacles. All right, it might be another Taurus involved. Yeah, you got love coming in. I love it. Okay, you might have a Taurus coming from Virgo who's like in the middle of your relationship. If it's a blockage for some of us, you do have Ace of Cups coming in. All right, you have this, <laughs> this fucking Cancer again. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cancer and Pisces, I'm sorry. But the Ace of Cups is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So something is secretive about someone who, who you love, all right? Someone you love has a secret, and um, it might also be Aries with this with this Take a Leap card. The Fool here and Aries energy. And someone is regretful of the past, okay? Of some type of broken promise or broken energy here, all right? Someone wants to work on this relationship, Pisces, Pisces. All right, but you're not you're afraid to take this leap of faith all right because you know some hidden motherfucking secrets with the Aries Leo Sag I mean Aries or Pisces Cancer Scorpio okay but that person loves you okay so Pisces Cancer they love you I love it <laughs> everybody has secrets though right all right that's just the way of life right so let's clarify um let's use the sexual card to clarify so God why is the page of cups here for Pisces why is this page of cups here? <laughs> soulmate. Yeah, someone wants to apologize, Pisces, because you're the soulmate. Let's clarify now. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, just bear me, with me with the noise in and out with the lens. I don't want to hear the shenanigans. Someone wants to apologize, Pisces, the two, because you have a soulmate. Some of us have a soulmate with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And High Priest is next to it. All right? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is your soulmate. That is for sure and definite. Also, uh, Aries came up, but we had our back turned towards, towards the Aries. All right, so why is the High Priestess? <laughs> Love it. The Ace of, uh, two Aces, Ace of Pentacles, Stability, Pisces. You're stable mentally here. You're growing, okay? You're learning to love yourself here as well. Also, someone who, someone wants to offer you a stable relationship. It might also be a Taurus Capricorn Virgo. So, so far we have Taurus Capricorn Virgo next to this energy of love and a Pisces Cancer Scorpio. These are the people who's, who's a positive energy. I did three pre-shuffles for Pisces Pisces before I did this reading here. So, I'm very accurate with what I'm saying now. Alright, why is the Seven of Wands here? This is why I'm talking because I just did three readings. Uh, Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sag, okay? Someone, this person loves you, but they're a little guarded, right? Aries Leo Sagittarius, they're a little, you know, too kind of cocky now. So I would just be cautious with them. And why is this Nine of Cups here? Yeah, King of Pentacles, Taurus Capricorn Virgo again, Pisces, Kansas, Scorpio. Someone wants to be stable with you, Pisces, okay? Someone wants to really be stable with you, right? And you might not see it because the high priestess is here. It's like closing ourselves out, not trusting, not loving, just overthinking. We just can't see the soulmate, but the soulmate is there. Why is this page of wands here? Who is this? Yeah, the king of swords. <laughs> oh, crazy bitch. I'm going to leave that shit to the trash. 
okay this is someone who's going to be calling you up just for a good time nothing serious in and out energy here all right so why is this three of pentacles here they're not going to take the relationship serious let me show you exactly what i'm saying here me doing you in. so look at the card here with the queen of swords all right this is also a person the queens kings are also individuals so this is a crazy with gemini right you have the page of wands is reversed reversed here <laughs> so so that means whatever they want to offer you is bullshit you see what i'm saying it's reversed they're gonna come and offer you some bullshit right i'm telling y'all why is the three of pentacles here for pisces and most of my readings are three weeks so i don't want to hear oh this is not me this is not my story then book a reading right so you have a um the emperor here okay lollygagging someone just drinking right okay third party and then out energy aries the outside again Third party reversed. I keep telling you, the Aries Leo Sag is not for us right now. Or the crazy with Gemini. They're not for us. Why is this Queen of Wands here? High Priestess. See, we know. Eight of Wands. Mm -hmm. You ain't gonna fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. You see what I'm saying? Once you get fooled, you ain't gonna get fooled again. Alright, let me see. Zoom this in. So, you have the high priestess. We sitting here like we know. You see what I'm saying? We know what's up. <laughs> With the eight of wands, we know that you you could be messaging us. Look, they trying to message you, Pisces, and say, I'm sorry. I put I had this other woman. You turned your back on the Aries Leo Sag. Because you knew they had, was messaging you and the other person. Yeah, the high priestess next to each other. Three times high priestess showed up. Okay, and when people talk behind your back and they're using crayons and shit, other tarot readers using fucking crayons and, and doing tarot, to me, if y'all want a real tarot reader, come to High Priestess, right? You listen to other, other tarot readers using drawings and crayons. I don't get that. All right, so you have the Wheel of Fortune here. It's the Wheel of Karma. So your partner's going to get bad karma. Why is this Wheel of Karma here? <laughs> the Five of Swords, yeah, for being a fucking liar here. All right, bad karma, you get your ass burned. Alright, so they lied to you, so they ass gonna get fired for that lying shit. Why is this Queen of Cups here? Because you know what's up. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles, right? I mean, Eight of Pentacles, my apologies, with the Queen of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you ain't stupid. She looking at the one, she think about her career, her career. He's like, oh, you wanna um, make love? You wanna go for a third round? But she looking, she looking at her, she think about her career. She ain't think about nothing else. This is you, Pisces. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, you turned your back on um, the fucking bullshit, the fuckery here. Why is the justice here? Four swords, yeah. So someone wants justice. Your partner went, went then to think about what they did and fucked up in this relationship. And you're going to get justice here, right? And someone is defensive, all right? Nine of wands. This is your partner feeling defensive. Why is the nine of wands here? Yeah, strength Leo here. It might be a Leo who's aggressive and, and not trying to see anything. It's like talking to a dumbass, right? A blank, a blank fucking wall here, all right? So someone is trying to control things here. It might be a Leo, right? Very controlling, all right? So if you guys dealing with the Leo or Aries Leo Sag, send them to the trash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Leo. Leo again. Send them out to the fucking trash, honey. Why is the moon here? What are you talking with them? All right, so you have the uh, Knight of Pentacles and the Hermit here, Virgo, right? Someone, someone, they, they have secrets. <laughs> a Virgo and a Taurus Capricorn Virgo. Yeah, they're, they're the secretive or cancer. Some secret. But they could be secretly in love with you because you have the Ace and the Ten of Cups here that we need to clarify, right? They could be secretly in love with you and not telling you. But they're going to tell you soon. Like I said, I kept getting nine nines, so either nine days or nine weeks. Why is this Ten of Cups here? Ooh, it, it really bent. Look at this. Ten of Wands and the Ten of Cups. <laughs> Tell me this ain't a happy family. Ten, ten. This is the Ten of Cups. Ten of Pentacles, stability, and emotional stability here. Emotional love. They come with emotions and stability. Meaning, like, they're not going to cheat on you, Pisces. Tell me, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Why is the um, Ace of Cups here? It's time for us to be with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. You have the you have the Queen of Swords, okay? Someone was regretful. A Queen of Swords, a crazy but Gemini, they're regretting this love. But you moving on. Alright, you taking a new leap of faith, new direction. Why is this fool this fool here? <laughs> Foolery. Foolery fuckery. 
Yeah, the eight, yeah, the fool, the fool. I'm so good, you guys. I don't even need to clarify. Okay, the fool and the fool. <laughs> clarify with the ace of pentacles. Taking a leap of faith, a crazy bitch. Gemini might want to rush in without thinking and then have regrets later about the relationship. So I'm telling you, you need to be with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio now because if you deal with the Taurus Cap, wait, 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 hold on. I'm sorry, let me correct myself. I'm, I'm, hold on. Okay, so if you're dealing with the uh, Taurus Capricorn Virgo, that's okay. If you're dealing with the Pisces Cancer Scorpio, that's okay. But if you're dealing with the Aries Leo Sides, look at this. Fugary. And then you have um, the Ace of Wands. So if it's an Aries Leo Sides coming in, they're going to come in and come out because they're going to get confused. Like, oh, why did I do that? I wasn't sure if I should have been with you. They're going to have regrets later. Ghost you disappear. It is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right, Pisces, Pisces. So I'm telling you right now, don't deal with them, motherfuckers. You might have a Libra who's good for you as well, just to get outside the Pisces energy. You have a Taurus, a Libra, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They're safe. Those are the people. So this is your reading, Pisces. Um, let's get final advice for Pisces. <laughs> Can we, some of us was cut off. Some of us was ghosted, right? All right, by Aries or a Libra towards Capricorn, uh, a Libra Aquarius Gemini. All right, let's see final mess. Yeah, Aquarius here also. All right, so you probably had some issues or ghosted by a crazy Libra Gemini or Aries, or it will be ghosted. <laughs> So that's the final message. This is why, oh, we have the stalker card that came out. So someone is stalking Pisces. And obviously a lot of people are stalking Pisces, Pisces lately. So you have a stalking energy. Someone jealous, obviously. All right. So um, let's get some blessings for Pisces. I love it. I'm just so good. Ace of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Perfect. Love is here. Love is here to stay. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Surely God is my help. The Lord is the one who sustains me. Psalms 54, 4. Pisces, God, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh. Okay. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Psalms 91, 1. He will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. 91.11. See, I see. I kept getting nine nine. Now everything is 91. The Lord is my right hand. I will not be shaken. Psalm 16.8. Okay. God is good. Always on time. All right. So let's get you some healing blessings, Pice Pice. Woo, child, that was a lot for you. I'm going live as well. So if you guys can meet me live today. Catch me live. We're going to do a quick Q&A. Phoenix. <laughs> Rising like a phoenix, honey. Okay, this was perfect. Number 32. 3 plus 2 is 5. Forward movement, Pisces. It says here. Um, okay. Everything in your life is falling apart in order for you to rise from the ashes with renewed strength. This is not a time to create, but a time to sweep away everything that has not worked in your life. The reason so many things are breaking down and not going in your way is because the old cycle of your life is completing. You may feel that you're walking through the fires of life right now in order to be cleansed and purified for the rebirth for your rebirth soon you will not recognize yourself you are reclaiming your spirit if possible try to isolate yourself from the chaos surrounding you now it's the time for you to feel any pain that you have previously suppressed so that you can heal the universe has plans opportunities that are better than you can imagine so let go and trust and anticipate what is coming the action to take Write down what are you afraid to let go of. Number your fears from the worst thing that could happen to the smallest fears. Then write down what could be possible, what could be a possible gift of facing that fear. Place your hands on, your, on the part of your body where you feel the most fear. Say to yourself out loud, I am willing to let this fear go. Imagine being able to take this sensation of fear out of your body and into the palms of your hands. 
you visualize that your fear becomes a bird. Surrender the bird to the highest source and visualize it flying away. Repeat the word surrender, surrender, surrender several times. And this is your reading, Pisces. Rise like a phoenix. God bless you. Namaste, everyone.